Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use this makeup brush cleaner that I bought off of Amazon. Now I did research a lot of different brush cleaners that were affordable and this one was the best option for me because it said it fit a lot of the makeup brushes. So it had high ratings for that. So let me show you what it came with. So it comes with the base right and then all of these collars this is what the brushes will fit into so i noticed i was kind of playing around with this before i started recording that these four right here are the main ones that fit my brushes so i will be using these today now it also came with the actual cleaner so it takes triple a batteries once you pop those in you just push the button and you can see it starts spinning. The spindle actually comes off and it'll just pop on there. Now it came with two spindles, so I already popped one on before I started recording. And then it came with the bowl where you will clean your brushes. Now, as you can see that there is a max limit. However, you probably won't even need to fill it anywhere near that because you're actually not supposed to let like the metal of your brushes touch the water so you only want the actual brush part to be touching it so it came with the bowl and then the neck of the bowl that you just snap on it did not come with like a shampoo or a cleaner so i went ahead and bought this off of amazon as well and i will be linking this down in the description I'm going to go ahead and fill up the bowl with water. Now in the instructions, it doesn't say whether it should be warm or cold. To me, it makes more sense for it to be a little bit warm. So I will be doing that and then I will explain the attachments as I go. Okay, now first I'm going to start by putting in some of the Eco Tools shampoo. I'm just going to put a little bit of a drop in here. Um, once it starts spinning, it will start foaming up. Now I'm going to start with this little makeup brush here. It fits into this collar, so I'm going to stick it right through here. Make sure it securely goes in there, okay? Now you're going to take this, make sure that your spindle is on there. Now you attach that square to this square. You are going to dip it in the water, make sure it's not touching the metal. You're going to see it spinning. You're going to bring it up and down for 10 seconds. and let it dry for 10 seconds. You don't want to do it longer than 10 seconds because it can mess up the brush. So I'm going to do another small brush. So I'll pop that in there, put the square with the square. All right, and I'm going to start spinning it. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. So for five seconds, you do this and then 10 seconds up and down. Now for 10 seconds, you hold it up in the air. Okay, I think that's just how the brushes are now. So then after this, it is crazy how dry this brush is. Now I wouldn't say it's completely dry, but it's definitely not as damp as if you were just to wash this with regular water and soap and have to let it dry for about 24 hours. So I only clean two of my brushes. So with these two brushes, this is what the water looks like. Add a little bit more of the makeup brush shampoo just because it's thicker brushes and it's more of them. So this is my bronzer brush. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty disgusting, especially since the bronzer is obviously darker. I am scared. Oh my gosh, that is so disgusting. So I'm gonna go up and down for 10 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is not soaking wet. That is freaking crazy. I love this stuff. So look how freaking disgusting this is. 
So if you have not cleaned your makeup brushes, this is what's going on your face. <laughs> Now you want to be cleaning your brushes every two to four weeks. And if I'm being honest, I honestly have not cleaned my brushes ever. Like I just buy new ones every so often, but even my new ones, I will have them for a year and I honestly don't clean them, which is freaking disgusting. But I didn't, I guess, realize how dirty they were and how many germs they hold and it's so gross. That might explain why I break out here the most, which is where I apply my bronzer. And then also for a while, I was breaking out like on my eyelids for a little bit, like not like a zip, but just like a light bump. I was like, what is this from? And it might've been from dirty freaking brushes. So this was actually my first time using my makeup brush cleaner with you guys. And I'm actually very impressed on how clean it left my brushes and how dry it left them. Now I will say that on my smaller brushes that I cleaned, it did leave them a little bit more damp, which I thought it would be the opposite. I thought my bigger brushes were gonna be a bigger deal and be damp, but they actually were not. So I am very, very impressed. I highly recommend this product. So I will be linking the makeup brush cleaner in the description as well as the shampoo that I used for the brushes. Now, please keep in mind that the brushes that I cleaned today are for things that are dissolvable. So brushes that you use eyeshadows with, blushes, setting powder, bronzers, things like that, that's what you're gonna use that shampoo for, but you're only gonna use a little bit, which is what I use. Now, if I were to use a brush to apply my foundation, then I would apply more shampoo to the bowl to make sure that it gets cleaned really good because it does not dissolve comparing it to powders and things like that. So it's gonna take a lot more work to clean those brushes. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time that I post a new video. Bye.